Okay. A little history. Oh. I remember <clears throat> 1969, 70. 1973, 74, when this firm was founded in the sell-off in 1973-74, the Dow went from 1,000, not 22,000, to 600 before it bottomed. The price of oil went up fourfold. People were not buying cars. They had to get in line to fill their gas tank. No airplanes, no Boeing, no General Motors. IT&T was in trouble. The world was coming to an end. 73, 74, 1980, 81, 87. Each time there was a level at which the stock market went to extremes and turned red day after day after day after day. This week, the S&P 500 index is off, what, 7%? 7%, 7 in a week. Is all of America's business worth 7% less on a Friday afternoon than it was on Monday morning? I don't think so. Now, do we have chaos in Washington? Damn well we do. Is it a mess in Washington? It is. But American business is going to show earnings this year, 2019, this coming year, somewhere around 172, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on the S&P 500 index. Price those earnings, price them against the index, and say to yourself, with 150 million Americans working and earning income, which is gradually rising, do I want to just sit and panic? Do I want to sell all my stocks and quit? Or do I want to take a view that there's value of in owning pieces of the American business complex. For me, I own them. We are scaled into the market. We think stock prices are cheap in the United States. And we think we have chaos in Washington. Nothing new there. Chaos takes different forms in Washington. It doesn't last forever. Stick around, it gets replaced with another type of chaos in another administration. So that's where we are. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. It's a great country, it's the best we have, and I'm optimistic that two years from now we'll look at the stock prices, they will be a lot higher, not lower. Thank you, David. Matt McAleer with a couple of comments. Uh, in terms of some trading and some thoughts this week, raised a little bit more cash in, uh, in both our international style, which is at 36% cash. That's a big slug of cash for us right now. But I, I, I need to see some kind of relative strength there before we commit any more. Uh, tactical, which is a, a more flexible style, is at 45% cash. A uh, couple sales this week didn't feel good making them. In retrospect, in a, in a three or four day period, solid sales. That's another thing I look at. Any sale we've made over the last three months has been a good sale. What do I mean by that? The, the sale price we made is higher than where we're trading. It's a definition of a downtrend. We are getting to the bottom of this downtrend. What do we look for? Uh, equity only put call ratio. Don't be fooled by the total put call ratio numbers. We look at equity only put call ratios. I don't want hedging from indexes. I want speculators betting on the market going down versus speculators betting on the market going up. We hit 9, uh, 0.97 on Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, 0.91 yesterday. I like to see it crack one. Uh, maybe we did today. I'll get the CBOE numbers in a little while. Uh, that would be a signal that we're getting close to the bottom at least a tradable bottom. We don't like to call bottoms. A bottom that we can rally off is what we're looking for. So we, we've circled some areas we want to be in. We've circled some names. We've circled some sectors. Uh, we'll see what next week brings. We, we may start tailing off on some of this tax loss selling and, and start to 
eat in to some of that uh, supply. Need to see supply dry up. Everyone have a great weekend and we'll speak again next week.